Back to 2021, we posted a teardown video of the Samsung wireless charger Padul, which can support up to 9 watts wireless charging. You can click the upper right corner to take a look. And today we got its upgraded version. This charging pad can support up to 15 watts wireless charging. Let's go ahead and take a part. It can be compatible with Samsung phones, watches, and earphones. Let's open it up. Except for the charging pad, it also comes with a charging cable and a charger. Unlike the previous generation, this time is a dual USB-C cable, and its length is about 1 meter. The upper port of the charger also switched to USB-C, modulus EP-TA800. It can support input of 140 volts, 50 or 60 hertz, 0.7 amp, and the maximum upper power is 25 watts. You can click the upright corner to view the teardown video of this charger. The front panel adopts matte ABS, which is pretty smooth. Those shallow icons represent supported devices. You can charge your phone and Galaxy Watch, or your Galaxy Watch and earbuds at the same time. Two indicator lights can show the working status. It's equipped with a USB-C port, not a DC port. Those grooves and ventilators on the back can greatly enhance its heat dissipation performance. The model of this charging pad is EP-P5400, and the input is 9V, 2.77A. The size of this charging pad is about 165 by 91 by 16mm, and the weight is about 168.5 grams. Next, the teardown will start from the weakest point, 4 rubber pads. There are 4 screws under 4 rubber pads to fix the back cover. Let's remove them one by one. Now use this spider to pry along the gap. The PCBA module and cooling fan are fixed by multiple screws. The cooling fan is from Toshiba, specs is 5V 0.31A. Then let's separate those two parts. The cooling fan is connected to the PCBA module through the red and black wires. Then desolder the other two solder joints, we can separate them. Continue to remove the other four solder joints, we can finally take out the PCBA module. Most components are on one side, including the mass controller, MCU, synchronous buck boost converter, buck AC, inductor, etc. Flip to the back, it's much simpler. The hybrid driver on the back is from diodes, used to drive the MOSFETs of the wireless charging. Back to the front, this is the MCU from ABOV, used to control the wireless charging distribution. It has passed the PD3.0 certification and can be seen in many Samsung charging accessories. Those two mass control chips for two wireless charging circuits are from Renesis. They integrate the MOSFET driver to simplify the circuit. This is an external 8 MHz crystal slater, and there are two external memories for two mass control chips. The synchronous buck boost converter is from MPS and adopts QFN 3x3 16 package. It integrates MOSFET, and the maximum apple current is 3 amp. Here is a 2.2 microhenry alloy inductor for the buck boost converter. Those four MOSFETs for phone wireless charging are from Vergica Semi and adopts PDFN3333 package. 30 volts, 6.4 mA. They can form an H bridge circuit to drive the charging coil. Those five white MPO resin capacitors are used for phone wireless charging. Here is the control circuit for watch wireless charging, and those two MOSFETs are from Vergica Semi, same model as the phone wireless charging. Those three resin capacitors are connected in parallel and work with two MOSFETs. Finally, here is the control circuit for earphones wireless charging. It is composed of three MOSFETs from Wokiga Sami and five resin capacitors connected in parallel. These two MOSFETs of the same model can form an H-bridge, working together with the half-bridge composed of four MOSFETs we mentioned above. 
This is a Samsung customized chip marked with S3FW6MA. Another bug chip and a 6.8 microhammer alloy inductor are used for low power wireless charging. And this bug chip and a 6.8 microhammer alloy inductor are used to power the mass control chip. This tiny chip is used for input over current protection. The fan speed controller is from Global Mixed Mode G761. It can support open loop and closed loop fan speed control. Continue to remove the fixing screws and separate the plastic case. The inner coil is used to charge fans, and the outer coil is used to charge the watch. The magnet inside is used to check the watch. Well, that's all components for this 15W faster wireless charger dual from Samsung. Compared with the previous generation, the charging power slightly increased from 9W to 15W. But the internal structure and components are better than the 9W wireless charger dual. The additional cooling fan can facilitate it to maintain peak power for longer, even the charging coil design has been improved. With two separate charging coils and a small magnet, it can provide a more accurate and stable charging experience. Ok, that's all for today's video. Please drop a like, leave your comments and subscribe to us. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!